I call this meeting to order. Today we will organize the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs for the 118th Congress. We will begin by selecting, uh, hopefully, the chair and vice chair, and then adopting the committee rules and funding resolution. First, I want to welcome back uh, our returning members and thank them for their partnership and incredible work last Congress and give a warm welcome to our newest member, uh, Senator uh, Mark Wayne Mullen. By any measure, the last two years were the most productive in recent decades and arguably the most productive in American history for the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. In addition to securing billions for Native communities through five landmark laws, over 80 bills were referred to our committee covering a wide range of topics including public safety, Indian water rights, settlements, land into trust, housing, cultural patrimony, and Native languages. Of these bills, 46 were considered by the committee, 30 were marked up, 34 were reported, 26 passed the full Senate, and 18 were enacted into law. And what's more, we confirmed the Assistant Secretary for Indian Affairs at DOI and the Director of IHS uh, at the um, Department of Health and Human Services, and none of these achievements would have been possible without this committee's bipartisan commitment to Native people in Indian country, in Alaska, and in Hawaii. Because of our long-standing tradition of bipartisan, because our long-standing tradition of bipartisanship is our strength. And so I'm truly proud to serve for the second consecutive Congress in leadership alongside my good friend, the Vice Chair, Senator Murkowski. Hawaii and Alaska enjoy a rich history together of friendship and achieving shared priorities from our unique states. And I'm pleased to continue that tradition of collaboration and friendship. As chair, I'm determined to work with all of you to build on our bipartisan achievements and get even more things done for Native communities. And so I look forward to a productive 118th Congress, and I'll now turn to the vice chair for any opening statement. 